Hi, it's Eileen with Kid Fun Ideas, and I'm back with another project to do while we're stuck in home. Today, I thought it would be really fun if we played a match game. So if you're up for it, I'm up for it too. So today, if you go to the website and look under Autumn Projects, you will find the transportation match game directions and templates for you to print out. The template information comes with four different um, transportation um, sheets where you can cut them out and stick them onto cardboard or colored paper. <clears throat> now, if you don't have um, access to a printer or you don't want to waste any more of your ink or whatever the case may be, don't worry. Hang on to the end and I'll show you how to make your own match game without any printer or without any, um, any directions like this. You can just follow along with me. Okay, so if you are making these, the first step to do is to cut them out. So let's get started. I'm going to move this down here so you can see where we're at. Okay. Your match game is going to come with all these different sheets. You get four of them. And you can see that they have all different ways to get around. That's transportation. So there's taxis and horses. Even scooters are transportation. You've got skateboards, and this is a dog sled, and even a submarine. So first thing you'll need to do is locate some glue stick and a set of scissors and some colored paper. I just chose green because that's one of my favorite colors. And you're going to cut all of your little cards out. And here's a good tip. If you get a big bowl, you can cut right over the bowl and then you don't end up with a bunch of um, little strips of paper everywhere. You're just going to keep cutting all these out until you have a whole bunch of transportation cards. Okay, so I'm going to cut out the scooter just as an example. There's one. It's good practice for cutting along the lines. If you mess up and cut into it, don't worry about it. So once you have your little um, transportation things cut out, you're going to glue them all onto some piece of paper, some other piece of paper, because <clears throat> we're going to eventually turn these over. And I don't know if you can see it from your end, but I can kind of see through this one. So that's why we glue it to another piece of paper. Once you have them all glued onto the piece of paper with your glue stick, you're going to cut those out. And then you will have your game piece. All right. So here is another one of them, and it's a boat. I don't know if you can see that. It's a boat. Little guy on a boat. Hello, I'm on a boat. Okay, so once you have all those cut out, you're ready for your game. If you really want them to last a really long time, you can go ahead and lay them out and put them in a laminator. And that's just something that covers them in plastic and makes them um, really, really, really durable in case you want to play it again. So you'll end up with all kinds of um, cards. And the way you play the game, let me just cut this guy out. is to take your cards, make sure you have two of each, and the more cards you cut out, um, the harder and trickier it gets. So if I got two buses, two boats, two airplanes, you're going to take them and you're going to turn them all over. I don't bet you guys have played match game before. You turn them all over. See, it doesn't matter if they're laminated or not, you can still play the game. And you're going to shuffle them around, mix them all up, okay? Then you're going to lay them out in a nice pattern, nice easy grid pattern here. And you're going to take turns. So one person turns a card over. Oh, an airplane. So then you have to guess, where's the other airplane? Well, not there. So my turn's over. So I'm going to turn these back over. Remember where the airplane was. Oh, there's a train. And the next person goes, oh, airplane. All right. So my turn's over. I didn't get that one. So the other person's turn comes up. I remember where that airplane is. Do you remember? Was it here? Was it here? I think it was here. Let's turn it over. Okay. Now I get to keep these. And that's how your turns go. And you just keep taking turns. And whoever ends up with the most matches is the winner of the game. And you can make as many cards as you want with this. But what happens if you don't? What happens if you don't have a printer? You can't 
print these things out and you want to play the game, well, don't worry. All you'll need to do then is grab yourself some plain card paper. And what I'm talking about is, like I'm going to use these um, 3 by 5 cards. They're just little note cards that I have. I keep in my desk for writing inspirational types of things. And they're just the perfect size. If you don't have these, you can cut out plain paper again and just use it like that. You're going to take your card. I'm going to switch it back down here so you can see my tabletop. And you're going to fold the 3 by 5 card in half, just like that. Crease it real good. Turn it over the other way. And you can either rip this um, along the edge here or cut it. I think probably better to cut it since we've just made ourselves a line. You can see that crease is a really good line. Now you have two cards that look just the same size, right? So turn them over to the non-stripy side. See one side stripy, one side's not. You're going to draw on the not stripy side. You can make your cards as simple as you want or as, or as fun as you want it, complicated. You can make them into two orange circles and just do a color match game. You can make them into two robots. There are two robots. Whatever you do, just draw the same thing. You can make them as silly as you want or crazy as you want. The point is, you make them both the same on each of those two cards. Okay, so that, here's Grandma. Hi, my Grandma! <clears throat> so that when you get your cards back again, you can play the same game again. Line them all up, and you can play just like this. Now, this is not the time for markers, because <clears throat> if you use markers on this, what's going to happen is um, you're going to be able to see right through it. Like if I made a, a heart on here with marker, when you flip it over, you're going to be able to see right through it. So this is the time for colored pencils, crayons, um, just plain... Plain pencil works great. So when you get your um, card, the best way to do that, to make sure that your, your images look the same, is to um, color them or draw them at the same time. What I mean by that is this. Okay, let's draw that robot again. Okay, so I'm going to start with one rectangle right here. Now I've got a rectangle, I'm going to make the same rectangle over here. So we're drawing them at the same time. Then I'm going to draw an antenna up here, and an antenna up here. And if they're a little bit different, it doesn't matter. Draw ears on this guy, little bolt ears on this guy, some eyeballs. And they don't have to be complicated. A square nose, a wiggly mouth. And a rectangle for a body with some feet and some arms with little C shapes. Arms, with little, whoop. I messed up, but don't worry about it because I'm just going to keep going. There we go. Okay, there's my robot. So I got two robots. They look enough alike that you can kind of make them a match. So that's how you do them at the same time. And that's all there is to it. Now you have a way to play match game. So give me a comment down in the bottom and let me know how many matches you made today. And don't forget, it's at Kid Fun Ideas if you want to play the transportation one. But it's A-OK -okay to write your own game and make it just how you want it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.